The ADATS was the first guided missile system expressly designed to engage both aircraft and armored vehicles. The name itself is an allusion to this mission, being short for Air Defense Anti Tank System. It was developed in the mid 1970s by Erlikon Burl, later Erlikon Aerospace, then Erlikon Contraves, and now part of Rain Metal Air Defense AG, with Martin Marietta, now part of Lockheed Martin, becoming a partner in the project in 1979. The first test launch of an ADATS missile was conducted in 1981. The development of the ADATS was serendipitous, as in the early 1980s, the US Army had established a requirement for two new short-range air defense, SHORAD, weapons. Dubbed FAAD, Forward Area Air Defense, this program was intended to produce replacements for the M167 Vulcan and MIM-72 Chaparral, which in fact had both only been meant as interim systems in the first place. The ADATS had fierce competition, being pitted against the Liberty, a Crotal variant, the Paladin, a Roland variant, and the Rapier, but the ADATS was nonetheless declared the winner in November of 1987. However, development of the ADATS was long and troubled, with numerous problems and substantial program costs that were not only significant. Two consecutive GAO reports, ADA 267-344 on December 10, 1990, and NSAD 91-222 in May of 1991, highlighted a litany of problems that not only jeopardized the program on their own, but were also rapidly escalating. These findings included an MTBF, meantime between failure, of only 9 hours, compared to the congressionally mandated qualifier for operational service of 60 hours, a 39% readiness rate, compared to the minimum qualifier of 71%, an average of 1.5 maintenance hours to correct failures, compared to the requirement of no more than zero. 62 hours, a maintenance level that exceeded the qualifier by 500%, numerous operational failures of the radar, rangefinder, and optics, mission-critical tests that had been pushed back by years, or even cancelled entirely, and numerous examples of data manipulation by the U.S. Army. These and other problems formed a powder keg that threatened to destroy the entire FAAD program and the end of the Cold War was effectively the spark that lit that powder. In January of 1992, the ADATS program was formally cancelled, ending five years and $5 billion of U.S. government involvement in the project. The ADATS program also suffered additional serious setbacks throughout the 1980s and 1990s as it was rejected by several other nations, in favor of more conventional, single-purpose SAM systems. After having sunk more than 1 billion Swiss francs into the ADATS program, Erlikon sold less than 50 launchers to just two nations, see below. The ADATS program was thus as much a failure commercially as it was operationally. The ADATS launcher could be mounted to a wide variety of chassis, see below, but the only one it was operationally installed on was the M113A2 Gavin. The M113's mobility is affected by the size and weight of the launcher, but otherwise the qualities of the chassis remain the same. It carries a crew of three, a track commander, a driver, and a system operator who controls the launcher. 